Indiana sugar cream pie. Doesn't that sound great? It's otherwise known as Hoosier pie, and it comes from the Amish and the Shaker communities that settled in Indiana in the 1800s. Made from cream and milk and butter, the Great Lakes region is famous for, this rich custard pie is the official pie of Indiana. It's sometimes called a desperation pie, a category that refers to pies made when fresh fruit wasn't available or money was short, but milk was plentiful because there's lots of cows. First, make the crust. Now this is a pat brise butter crust and it's been rolled out, the edges turned under a double edge on the edge of the glass pie plate. And notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to make an unusual pointed pie crust. So what I'm doing is making all slanted cuts going one way, and then you just do a slanted cut this way, and those little triangles come popping right out. And you can do this in a matter of a couple minutes. It's so cute, it looks like shark teeth even though there are no sharks in Indiana. So see, look, all done in just a matter of minutes. Very cute. What will you do with those? Well, you could probably roll them out and make a little jelly tart. So here's the crust. You can now blind bake this. And you do want it to be cold when you put it into your preheated oven, 375 degrees, lined with parchment. and your weights. The store-bought kind of weights or the dried bean kind of weights. We always use dried beans. Which the first couple times you bake your uh, crusts with beans, they smell like beans, but after 10 or 15 years of use, they just become objects with no scent whatsoever. 375 degrees, uh, bake it for about uh, 25 minutes and then carefully remove the weights and the parchment and let it continue to bake for about 15 minutes more. Now for the filling, the custard. Now see we have a crust already baked. Oh by the way, if your crust starts, the little points start to darken, just put a 10 inch quiche tart pan ring over the points and they won't get too brown. Half a stick of butter. We're gonna make a roux first. And a quarter of a cup of flour. This is your thickener for the custard. A roux is basically a cooked mixture of fat and flour. And it's one of the cornerstones of sauce making. So we just really want to cook the flour a little bit, two minutes or so, over medium heat. We do not want it to darken just to get the floury taste away. And then add one cup of heavy cream and one cup of whole milk, one cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Bring this to a boil and then reduce to a simmer and cook for oh, barely a minute or two until it really thickens up. So now we're going to pour it right into our beautifully baked crust. Be careful of the points, you don't want to break them and you can just pour right through your strainer. If you have your husband or a friend, it would help right now <laughs> to scrape out the remaining custard, but I'll manage. Mm, so beautiful. And get this right into your preheated oven until the filling is slightly set, about 25 minutes. Remove from the oven, cool on a rack, and don't serve until it is completely cool. So, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm really desperate for a piece of pie. I need a pick-me-up. What could be better than a piece of desperation pie? Where, indeed, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Look how nicely it cuts. Indiana cream pie, Hoosier pie, Desperation pie, it's so cute and so delicious. Try it, I think you'll really like it.